Alright what's up Amaya and today I will show you a tool that can be used to determine the speeds of your hard disk drives, HDDs and solid state drives, SSDs. For this we will be using the Crystal Disk Mark tool. This is a simple disk benchmark software and its main feature is disk speed measurements. So I will provide this link in the description so you can download it for yourself. Let's get started. After you have clicked the download button, the download will start shortly. We just have to wait for a few seconds. Depends on your internet speed, of course. Let's wait for this and we need to save the setup. The download is not that large, just takes quite a little bit of time. After the download is complete, simply go to your folder where you have downloaded it. First of all, I will be right clicking on my windows option and then going to the disk management so I can show you how many drives I have currently online so we have disk 0 which have two partition C and D and we have disk 1 which has only one partition E so we have got two disks and now I will be measuring both of these disk speed first after you have downloaded the software simply extract it we do not need to install the software because it is already pre-installed so we need to select the bit version 64 is the 64 bit version if you are using our 32 bit operating system simply select the 32 bit version so we have here text counts size disk drives and things like that i recommend that you keep everything on default only just select the disk that you want to test the speed for first of all i will be selecting the i will not be using the os disk i will be selecting the d which is probably the same disk and only a different partition so press all and the test will start we just have to wait for a few minutes to test to run multiple tests i hope you understand what i'm saying on the left side we have the read speed in mbs and on the right side we have the write speed in mbs this is different sections of the same test to determine how fast the drive can run Let's wait for the results to come in, then I will show you at once. Ok now so these are the speed results of my first disk, disk 0 which is an SSD supposed to be an Intel SSD. So all we have to do is save these results. For this we have to go to the settings up bar here in this here you can see there are a lot of settings that you can change but here we have in the file section we have two options to save as a text file or you can save it as an image file I will be doing both first of all we will be saving it as a text file for detailed comparison and saving it as an image file for the graphical user interface comparison I hope you understand what I am talking about ok so there are some other things that you can change about it but I recommend that you do not change anything simply keep it as a default and that's all we need to do now let's go ahead and check the results first to see how the information was saved properly or not. So this is the image comparison. It is the exactly image of that file. And this is the detailed t text comparison showing everything that you need to know about the speed of the disk. This is the complete information that you can then compare it with other results. So let's go ahead and take the result of that disk first let me check something here here you can see this is the d drive partition d that i took the test of now let's open up the crystal disk mark again and then now we will be taking the speed test of the second disk which is supposed to be e partition let's click all and start the test
and now here we have the speed results of the second disk of the e-partition so I'm going to save these results as an image and also as a text file so let's save it as both the forms and then we need to compare it next and also I will recommend that you change the name of the files before saving it so you can be sure that we are checking the speed of this exact drive okay now we have saved both of the results let's close the program and then compare the results side by side so this is the result of my second drive and this is the result of my first drive let's compare it side by side now you can see which one is the faster one so the partition with the D is much more faster almost double in sequential read and write speeds and we have also in special write speeds as well so these are the side by side speed comparisons of both of the drives with different speeds you can see one drive is uh, twice as fast as the first drive in both read and write speeds but for some reason the random speeds are not that much different from both of them only the sequential speeds are different the writes are quite as double fast in sequence and in random order as well. I kind of don't understand the meaning of this but still. Okay now these are the speeds. This is the local disk E and this is the local disk D. You can see local disk D is twice as fast as the local disk E. Okay let's close it up and now all we need to do is check the picture version. I mean the graphical user interface version so let me just zoom in a bit and then place it right here and then we need to open up the second image of the second drive let me just drag and drop it right here zoom in a little bit now you can see this is the more understandable version of the same information but in user graphical interface you can see the read speeds are slower on the left side while the read speed on right are faster you can see the right drive which means the D drive is faster than the E drive you understand right okay in the task manager you can see I have both of the drives you can see the first disk disk 0 with partition C and D the Intel SSD and we have the second disk disk E the Samsung one the Intel one is twice as fast than the Samsung one which means I just bought a slower disk Anyway, the storage matters most, so that's all we need to know. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next one. Take care. Goodbye.